Hello, insiders. I'm Chen. I'm a product specialist in notifications. Today, we'll be talking about some upcoming changes to notifications. I know a topic that is very well sought out for, and then also talk about some improvements we're making. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to introduce James. Hi, I'm James. Uh, I'm the product manager for notifications at YouTube. All right, James. I know this is not your first time on this <laughs> channel. But for our new subscribers, mind giving a quick overview on what your team has been working on in the notification space? Yeah, I think the um, the big change we talked about last time we were on Creator Insider was um, some updates to YouTube Analytics to sort of help creators understand a little bit more about how their notifications are working. Um, so it's worth just recapping that because I know the creators that use it have found it really, really powerful and insightful, and, and not all creators are using it. So it's worth flagging that there's a um, there's two cards we added. One was a, a channel level card. So it shows the percent of subscribers that have turned on notifications for your channel and have enabled YouTube notifications. And then there's also a video level card. So for your latest video upload, uh, you can see how many notifications were sent, uh, the click-through rate for these notifications, and how they contribute to views to the performance of that particular video. So um, if you haven't used those cards, I'd encourage you to go have a look, and you can kind of see how, how well these notifications are working for you. Thank you, James. Yeah, I know a lot of creators are very excited about these um, these cards and these metrics, but like to James' point, if you haven't seen it, we'll, we'll put a uh, help center link down below. So with that, um, with that quick overview, thank you on that part. Um, tell us, James, what's next? We talked just a second ago about push notifications, uh, but within the kind of the remit of, of, of my teams, we also send email. And um, as many of you kind of perhaps reported or noticed, we send quite a lot of email, particularly for, for uploads. Um, and we heard sort of creator and viewer feedback that maybe we're sending too many of certain types. Um, and so we, we wanted to evaluate this and see if we could make that email channel uh, you know, more effective and maybe get rid of some of the noise. Essentially, we send today, we send push notifications for your latest upload, and we also send an accompanying email if a, if a viewer has hit the bell. And actually, what we found is there's something like less than 0.1% of the, the, the new upload emails are actually opened and clicked back to YouTube. Um, and so then we start asking ourselves, you know, is email the best format for these kinds of updates? And maybe actually we should be looking at things like push notifications and deferring back to the other subscriber tools, you know, things like the subscriptions feed, the notifications inbox. Um, and so we ran an experiment to turn off these emails. And we ran this for a long time. We were trying to really understand how, how, how well they work. So we ran a three month experiment uh, and assess the impact of if we turn off these emails, does it affect creators? Does it affect viewers? Uh, you know, for small channels, big channels, and that kind of thing. And so what we found is actually, if we turn off emails for your new uploads, there's no measurable loss of views for any channel, both these huge kind of MCM channels and then right the way down to, you know, small channels that are just starting out. And actually what's interesting, we found there's actually a very marginal, small increase in views. And so we wanted to understand this a little bit better. So if we turn off emails, actually, it looks like some videos are performing better. And so, uh, as I said, we did this kind of uh, channel size slicing and we really dug into the experiments. Um, and we also, so we validated actually that ten, what tends to happen is people tend to use push notifications a little bit more when you send off the emails and they do tend to come back to the app uh, and consume uh, more videos. The other thing we wanted to understand is, you know, how creators might feel about this change. Um, and so we floated this with a, you know, a creative kind of focus group. Uh, and again, we spoke to small and large creators to help us make this decision. And they told us that actually they don't see email as being critical to the success of their video. Um, and so we are, we're, we're planning to turn off these emails. Thank you for that explanation, James. Let me help me understand then and help the group understand this. Um, so you're saying if we turn off these emails, it seems like through experiment, how will this change kind of how subscribers interact with YouTube? Yeah. So, um, it's worth mentioning there, essentially, there are a few other ways that, and I kind of mentioned some a second ago, that, that subscribers, your subscribers, know about your new video. So we send lots of push notifications, and I should make it really clear, we have no plans to change those. And by those, I mean the one, the little messages that are sent to your phone, and they appear you know, on Android, iOS, or Chrome. Uh, we have no, ch no plans to change those at all. Uh, there's, of course, the subs feed, you know, the subs box, as some of you may call it. Um, and then alongside that, there's the notifications inbox. And we have no plans to change any of those three uh, mechanisms uh, and they will work really well and actually what happens is I think that the emails tend to get lost in email inboxes you know we get lots of them you know, tools like Gmail now may put some of the YouTube emails under a social tab so it might be hidden um, and so actually email doesn't look that effective 
And so when you turn them off, uh, what happens is that people tend to go and seek out the, the alternative channels, um, whether it's the subs feed, the notifications or the notifications inbox. We have more come back to the app and visit the subscriptions page. This is what this chart's showing. It's showing that there's a kind of a, a modest increase, the blue line uh, between the version where we, uh, we, we turn off the emails and the version where we uh, retain the emails. And this blue line essentially says that, you know, in the version where we turn off the emails, the subscription page visitors go up a little bit. And so actually the people are coming back to the app and uh, they're looking at think in this example, we're looking at the subscriptions page uh, and they're seeking out your videos there. And um, we think that's a better experience. Um, and so which is why we want to turn off uh, these emails. And there's another interesting thing we, we observed is that um, as, as more people are kind of live streaming uh, with the kind of lockdowns in many countries, and that you know the, the recent sort of COVID issues we've all been through, uh, we've seen live streams increase. And, and live stream, you know, sending an email for a live stream doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and we saw that essentially these typically emails get opened many hours after we send them. You know, I think in the case of live streams, it's around three hours. And so sending an email that gets opened three hours after you've live streamed doesn't really work for these streams. And so a push notification that tends to get opened almost immediately uh, is, is a kind of a better product fit for helping your subs uh, be, become aware of this, this your latest stream or your latest upload. Uh, so generally, we think that the the push notifications, the subs tab, and the inbox are, are just a better solution for keeping your subscribers up to date. That, that sounds like a really great trend in terms of like these experiment results, but also just the kind of like high level how subscribers are interacting with YouTube um, in general. I, I have to ask for all the creators out there, are there any other ways this is going to affect creators? One of the things we observed is that you know, many creators use the same email account as a viewer and as a creator. So uh, it's the same YouTube login. And so your email inbox, and many of you may be able to relate to this, has both all of your emails, all of these bells. And then maybe you're also the arguably much more critical stuff, you know, strikes, community guidelines, which is very important to creators, obviously. Um, and so we wanted to maybe clean up the email inbox to really help surface uh these messages that are more critical to to, the, to you as a channel and so we feel that you know if we can get rid of some of the noise from youtube overall uh and really highlight some of the these more important emails hopefully that's a better change for creators in general well it sounds like um we're get, we're kind of rolling forward on this just kind of curious there's a lot of emails out there um how do you plan on turning this off yeah, uh, so it, it turns out turning down a campaign of this size is, uh, takes a little bit of time. Um, and you, we've been trying to work through it in a thoughtful way. And so uh, we will stop sending these subscriber notifications. Uh, and as I said, we will continue to send uh, push notifications to mobile devices, to Chrome browsers. And then we also want to make sure that the, there's a very small percentage of people who do open them. Um, and we're going to send them a sort of a farewell email uh, explaining uh, to your subscribers and your viewers who, who may be using them um, what the alternatives are, so that we're turning them off, uh, and how they can still find your videos. Um, and so we'll be sending them you know, help center articles and, and some guidance there to help them out. Excellent. Thanks for the, thanks for the update, James. I think it's, it's good that we're all also trying to um, make sure that um, the subscribers of all these channels are well informed and they know kind of where to, where to go next um, and how to still consume the same content that, that, that they've always been consuming off of these channels. So after that, I'm kind of curious when the next time you're in Creator Insider or, or specifically, kind of what's next for notifications? As I mentioned, during COVID, we've seen quite a lot of increase in live streams and premieres. And we want to help people discover these live streams. Uh, obviously, live streams are very timely. Uh, you know, We want to make sure that uh, your subs are kind of uh, showing up exactly as they start. Uh, and so we've actually shipped quite a few changes recently to support these streams and sort of trying to aid the discovery of the of live streams. The other piece kind of related to that is uh, around the live stream reminder. So that's the sort of manual uh, toggle you can set uh, for a specific stream and it will then send you a, a reminder when it starts. Uh, and, and we wanted to ship some reliability changes there to bring them up to the same reliability standard that we've brought the bell up to in the last year or so. Um, and so now, you know, we have the same kind of reliability metrics that we, we track internally uh, to make sure that these things are working perfectly. Uh, and so we're really happy with the way that the reminders work now. And then the third kind of a viewer and a creator fix, um, we're thinking about the inbox. So the inbox tab in the YouTube uh, main app, we're looking at how we can uh, help people uh, find their latest updates, help your subscribers find the, the most recent bell, for example, within that tab. Uh, and generally just considering some improvements there. So that's something we're looking at next. Third time is a charm. So hopefully, 
uh, once we kind of roll those out, that you can come join us on Creator Insider again um, to talk about all of these changes. Yeah, I look forward to it. Perfect. Well, that's a wrap for today. So um, please, please, please put feedback um, for anything that you want in terms of James, comments, concerns, et cetera, in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Um, and until next time, bye all. Thanks.